Now time for futures in focus. We're looking at commodities. Goldman Sachs out with a new call that says the asset class is moving towards a structural bull market. They actually see return over the next 12 months of 28%. And, Guy, a huge part of this is shrinking inventories and supply deficits for certain commodities that are going to get a boost from things like a weaker dollar uh, and, uh, and pun policy from all over the world, particularly emerging markets. Yeah, what's really interesting as well is that some of that supply shortage is going to come from very different reasons. Part of it is mm -hmm. structural to do with what is happening with the, with the virus. Other of it, it, others kind of factors just completely unrelated. I think it's also really interesting if you think about what is happening more broadly, Alex, and think about this through the inflation prism. I, these are inflation hedges. And you think about what's happening in the bond market right now, I'm fascinated to see uh, whether people are, but what people are buying for here. Uh, are they buying because we have a supply-demand imbalance? Also, are they going to be buying for that inflation story that and they, could be maybe starting to pick up. And they say both. I mean, they say the macro tailwinds are going to be that weaker dollar and those rising inflation risks. And those reasons, uh, coupled with the deficits, are enough to offset any demand shock that we're going to see by a next round uh, of co next wave of COVID and any kind of regional shutdown. So there's enough there to make up for it. Uh, the ones in particular that they're looking at are soy and, and natural gas. Like, they're looking at that uh, huge de deficit uh, for next year. Uh, oil might take a little bit longer, though, but still, that uh, still plays in the thesis as decline rates tick up for U.S. shale in particular.